Hello everyone! It's your Mastalino Classroom. For this video, I will be teaching you a simple math trick that you can use in solving percentage. So, if you are interested to know this trick, then please keep on watching. We usually encounter percent in our daily life, specifically in product labels and product discounts in stores. That's why it's good that we know how to solve percentage and better if we can do it mentally. This video will give you idea on how to compute percentage mentally. If you can still remember how to solve percentage in your elementary years, this is what we are taught to do. For instance, we have 30% of 150. We are told to convert 30% in decimal form first, then multiply it to 150. So this becomes 150 times 0 0.30. And after multiplying, we get this result. And we have 45.00 or 45 as the answer, which means that 30% of 150 is equal to 45. But how do we compute percentage mentally? Let's have an example. 10% of 80. What we are going to do is, first, we focus ourselves on the number 80. And what we are going to do is to move the decimal point one decimal place going to the left. So that becomes 8.0, or that is equal to 8. Next thing we do is we multiply the tenth digit of the given percent to the result. So that becomes 8 times 1, or that is equal to 8. So the answer for this problem is equal to 8. That means 10% of 80 is equal to 8. To understand better, let's have the second example. 20% of 120. Again, we focus ourselves to the number 120. The first thing that we always have to do is to move the decimal point one decimal place going to the left. So that becomes 12.0 or simply equal to 12. Then, we multiply this result by the tenth digit of the given percent. So that is equal to 2. So 12 times 2, that's equal to 24. And that gives our final answer. Which means 20% of 120 is equal to 24. Let's have another example. 70% of 30. Focusing ourselves to the number 30, we always do this first step. Move the decimal point, one decimal place going to the left. So that becomes 3.0 or simply equal to 3. Then we multiply this result by the tens digit of the given percent. That is equal to 7. So 3 times 7, that's equal to 21. So that is already our answer which means that 70% of 30 is equal to 21. Now, let's have our fourth example. 40% of 21. Focusing ourselves to our given number, which is 21. First, we move the decimal point one decimal place going to the left. So, this number becomes 2.1. And, 
we multiply this result by the tenth digit of our given percent. And that is 4. So, 2.1 times 4, that is equal to 8.4. And that is already our final answer. So, 40% of 21 is equal to 8.4. And now, we are down with our last example. 80% of 250. Same procedure, we copy 250. Then, we move the decimal point one decimal place going to the left. So, 250 becomes 25.0 or simply equal to 25. Then, multiply this result by the tenth digit of the given percent and that is 8. So, 25 times 8, that is equal to 200. So, 80% of 250 is equal to 200. So let's have a short recap of what we did in solving percentage mentally. Take note that this trick works with percentage problem involving rate or percent that is a multiple of 10, like 10%, 20%, 30%, 40%, and so on. So here are the steps. Step 1. Move the decimal point of the given number or base one decimal place going to the left. And after that one, multiply the result in step 1 by the tenths digit of the given percent or rate. However, if the given percent is 50%, we don't need to undergo these two steps. All we have to do is divide the given number by 2. Because when we say 50%, that means we take one half. Alright, so let's practice what we have learned so far in this video. I will give 5 percentage problems and for each problem, you are given 10 seconds to try solving this problem mentally. So let's start. 90% of 20. Go. 90%. And the answer is 18. For the second one, 30% of 500. Go. And the answer is 150. For the third one, 20% of 17. Go. And the answer is 3.4. And for the fourth one, 60% of 50. Go. And the answer is 30. And for our fifth item, 90% of 25. Go. And the answer is 22.5. That's all for this video. If you like it, please give a like and leave a comment. Please support this channel by subscribing and turning on the notification bell for future updates. This has been your Mathaleno Classroom. Goodbye!